Lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. I know this is going to be a really random video, just to let you know off the bat. Um, I think on my vlog today, I think, I am pretty sure we're doing this. I just wanted to talk to you guys and just chit chat with you guys and see how you guys have been. Um, I know I have not been on here in forever. And I know you guys have been asking for an update video on what's been going on with our baby journey and all that stuff. Um, so I just decided to do a vlog. I know it's been a minute since I've done a vlog. It feels kind of weird <laughs> to be talking to my camera right now because it's been so long since I even showed myself on, on here, um, much less like actually presentable. <laughs> it's been a minute. So I'm going to be drinking my coffee while we talk because it's getting cold and I actually made this right now. Um, so as far as a life update goes, I think I'm probably exactly where you guys are at when it comes to this whole quarantine and what's going on in this world. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a lot of emotions. It's been a lot of ups and downs, if you will. Um, I feel like it, it's a roller coaster of emotions, that's for sure. Hold on. Oh, this coffee is so good. <laughs> so it's definitely been a roller coaster of emotions. Um, it's just really so hard to see the news and see what's going on and not let yourself get super emotional with what's going on. Um, I was like obsessed with the news the first, what are we? We're the 14th. Oh my, it's, it hasn't even been a month. Like, this is crazy. It's crazy how long it feels that we've been stuck at home. Not stuck at home, safe at home. Take that back. We've been safe at home. I don't want to say stuck at home because it's it's very very important that we stay at home um but it's been it's been less than a month since well at least texas here i think on texas was a march i think it was march 16th um but the first two three weeks i was watching the white house briefing every single day <coughs> allergies guys it's not the coronavirus um, which is a whole other thing that this is happening during allergy season for my allergy sufferers out there You guys know what I'm talking about. It sucks because every time you wake up feeling like crap You know, it's your allergies, you know deep down it's your allergies, but you're still like was that cough a dry cough or Do I feel off? Do I feel is this is this allergies or is it coronavirus? Like you're just it's playing with your mind already um, but it's just allergies. I have really bad allergies, especially right now. It's like the worst time so I was really obsessed with um the news the first three weeks but then i got so over it like it just was playing too much into my mental state and <sighs> even now i'm still struggling with falling asleep at night i didn't go to bed last night until 6 a.m well this morning really 6 a.m um it is 4 30 now i woke up at like noon so i fell asleep from 6 to 12 and then i woke up and it just I don't know. I just cannot fall asleep. I don't know if it's like like the anxiety or I already had trouble sleeping as it was But I feel like it's on a whole another level now and it's crazy I already told myself I'm gonna take some melatonin tonight because I cannot be having those hours. It's ridiculous So as far as our baby journey goes, um, I'm doing very well. I feel healthy. I have lost about seven pounds I think so far maybe 10 already I'm not too sure um it's not as much as I want to at all but I'm at this point right now where it's just so weird with this coronavirus thing because I have asthma so I have been trying to stay at home as much as possible like we haven't been out we haven't we've only the last time we shopped in a grocery store was March like March 15th March 14th so I haven't been out in like a month um even going outside i'm just like oh i don't know i get so paranoid because i have asthma and they say that if you have asthma or you're older it's it's harder for you we turn our garage into like a little gym where we have a tv and we work out and stuff but even that i'm just like so paranoid like should i be like should i be saving my lungs <laughs> for this in case i get the coronavirus or should i work out still because i have as i have exercise induced asthma so i get my asthma pretty fast when we work out um but i'm just like so paranoid of like wait no i need to save my lungs but then it's like well i'm working out my lungs so to get them stronger so it's just like a lot of that going on um but i do think i need to like work out a little bit at least like 
15 to 30 minutes a day to just keep losing weight because I need to lose as much weight as possible um, because it helps you get pregnant. So um, we've been eating home a lot, obviously, um, because even takeout to me, I'm still pa I'm paranoid about that too. I'm paranoid about the groceries. <sighs> the state of paranoia right now for everybody is so real. It's it's so like like I don't even like using the words anxiety or depression loosely because I feel like that those words are thrown around for everything nowadays. Um, so I don't like saying like my anxiety is crazy, but I feel like everybody has anxiety right now, and it's because and it, it's and it's it's I don't feel like people are faking it. I feel like this is real, and there's a just cause for this anxiety because. You're thinking about everything. You're thinking about packages you receive. You're thinking about your groceries. You're just like, okay, well, who stocked these? Were they sick? Or the people that the ship? Because we only do shipped or Instacart or HEB delivery. You're just like, okay, the driver is like, was their car clean? Were their were their hands clean? Like you're just so it's like, oh, like I don't understand. It's crazy. So um, yeah, that's been our life so far. <laughs> um, but we actually have our last biopsy well my last biopsy is going to be in june and we i received an email saying that that's still on so that's good um i do think that i'll probably have to go in there by myself i don't think they're gonna allow daryl to be in there with me because they're not allowing spouses i think um right now who knows in june it might be different but um if i and so after that biopsy if it's a negative then i will be in the clear to start trying to get pregnant and then I'll have to take, make another appointment to take the IUD out. So after the IUD is out, then we can try to have a baby. Um, and then we're going to try for six months. And if it doesn't work out, then we're going to start some PCOS treatment. Because I also got diagnosed with PCOS. But I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about it because, I mean, the fact that my lining has shed from 22 when it should be 3. <laughs> like... That right there is a brick wall. So I feel like in my lining, the, the the thickness of the lining isn't there anymore, then we should be fine. There's no brick wall no more. So we'll see about that. Um, but as far as my health goes, I have been feeling great. Like honestly, this IUD, this IUD has been a lifesaver to me. Now I will say my back pain is still there. My back pain is the worst. It hurts so bad. My doctor checked my IUD. It's in place. There's nothing wrong. There's something going on down there. Um, it's just a side effect, but yeah, so that's the update with the baby journey and with the coronavirus <laughs> um, I think today's video is going to be super random and uh, What else what else have we been up to oh Daryl made <laughs> Daryl started a hydroponic Garden, I think that's what they're called. It's pretty cool. I love it i know like i don't really know much about it we're actually going to make a video that's very detailed on how he did it because he knows all the details and he wants to do a video on it which is super interesting um all i know is that i see the little sprouts and i get super excited and i'm just like oh my gosh they're growing but um he's gonna make a video on that so we'll be uploading videos like that soon um i also have some home decor hauls of a lot of stuff that i bought like a year ago um but we were moving so i left everything in boxes and all behind me are a bunch of boxes so i think i need to go through it and just see what i what i want and what i don't want <laughs> um so yeah so i'm gonna do home decor hauls i also want to do some organization videos i was gonna do another pantry organization video but we have so much food right now that there's no way a pantry is organized like even the prettiest of pantries right now i feel like are just in chaos everybody around the world <laughs> because it's hard to keep it pretty when you have so much food that you just have in your pantry so you guys tell me what you want to see down below write a comment of what kind of videos you want to see um i also have a lot of travel vlogs that i never uploaded i have a california trip vlog i have some from going back home a, a couple of vlogs of those we still have like our montana vlogs that i never uploaded so i'm going to be uploading those as well i need to edit them i also have our diy fireplace finally coming up i need to finish uh, finish editing that video but yeah i have a lot of videos coming soon i hope you guys are excited um but yeah i just want to catch up with you guys and let you guys know that if you guys need anybody to talk to i'm here for you guys um i had a couple of subscribers from italy and from spain hit me up like two two three weeks ago when it was really bad over there 
and just talking to them and just like seeing where they were at and seeing like their mindset and seeing what they were going through just it warmed my heart that they wanted to reach out to me and talk to me and we spoke and spoke and it was just beautiful to be there for each other because this is a scary time guys it really is and as positive of per as positive of a person i am i don't want to get on here and like fake the funk either you know <laughs> like i i am a positive person but i'm also a realist and i know that these times can be a little scary and a little overwhelming i feel like i i have like a like bricks on my shoulders right now like i i feel it like in my bones i feel it in my shoulders like my back everything's so stiff because it's a lot it's a lot and you guys are not alone don't ever feel like you're alone we're all going through this together so just know that i'm here for you guys and um i love you guys i truly do i know i've been missing on here but it was a crazy 2019 for me with the whole cancer scare and everything like it was a lot to deal with so i'm not the type of person to be on here constantly crying like i don't know it just when it comes to social media i'm a weird person in the sense of like i don't like to be on here when i'm sad and be putting you guys in a sad state <laughs> um i know a lot of influencers and social media people are like that they want like to be crying and stuff on here and i that's that's their prerogative but i'm not going to be on here crying and like putting you guys in a bad mood for something I'm going through, if that makes sense. But I want to be here for you guys now if you guys are going through something and I want to like kind of distract you, if you will, with some videos, um, DIYs, organization, hauls, whatever the case is. I want to be there for you guys and um, hopefully put a smile on your face because that's what we need right now. We need smiles and love and happiness and just all that to get through this together so yeah um i will check back with you guys later i don't know what you're gonna see honestly i think i don't know if i'm gonna be cooking or what's gonna happen i'll make sure i get daryl in here so you can say what's up to you guys i know you haven't seen daryl in a while um but yeah i'll talk to you guys soon Okay, so today I am going to make some enchiladas. Now, I know I'm Mexican or Texican, but these enchiladas are so good. They are not the typical Mexican enchiladas that you'd see. Like the ones I made last time were the, I think, verde, chicken verde enchiladas. Those are so good. These are ground beef enchiladas, but we, I do them in a way that is super Tex-Mex. It is not Mexican or traditional by any means. My mom made these growing up a lot and they are so good. So with these, you use chili. So they're chili cheese enchiladas. They are so good, guys. They're so easy to make. All you need is ground beef, chili, some rotel, and some cheese. And guys, oh, and tor tortillas, of course. They are so good. I know you guys are probably looking at me like, that's weird, I don't like it. But trust me, try these. They will become a staple in your household. I am telling you, they are so good. Um, and I don't want no comments, No, I don't want no judgment in the comments, okay? Because I'm telling you, they're not authentic. It's not an authentic Mexican dish. It's more so an authentic Tex-Mex dish which is cool with me because I grew up eating these and they are so good. They're actually one of Daryl's favorites, like favorite Mexican foods of all time, even though it's Tex-Mex, but still. He was eating Taco Bell when I met him, okay? So <laughs> he eats a lot of Mexican food now. But yeah, so I'm gonna make these super simple. I'll probably just speed through it and show you guys the end product. All right, guys so now i just mix the chili with the ground beef and the tomatoes there's the stranger hello how do you do <laughs> how are you doing i'm great well that's my time with you oh gosh <laughs> so as you can see the tortillas are done right there always using corn tortillas and these are daryl's favorite enchiladas so 
I love when she rolls the enchiladas. I'm sure she probably already told you. Yeah. I kind of like throw a fit if she doesn't roll them. They're not, it's not, not that they're bad, it's just that they're not as good. Yeah. They're when, not rolled. when they're rolled, like juicy. Yeah, when they're not rolled, they're more dry. Yeah. Because I use it, I do it in a casserole. But the trick is just to even like, just. Last time you, I made the casserole, you didn't you didn't mind it that much, because I brushed oil on the tortillas. That's what it, it is. is babe. No dry tortillas, ladies. Okay. <laughs> Gosh. But yeah, so I hate doing this part, but my baby loves it. But you know what I love? Me. Yeah, of course. But also when those dishes are cleaned. Uh. <laughs> that's that's the quarantine rules right here guys i cook and he washed the dishes yeah that's what we've uh, agreed to let me show you one of my best friends right here <laughs> now your new best friend is that yeah. yeah. don what is it let me show you my old best friend <laughs> traded in for my new best friend yeah that's actually really good the power wash yeah, spray great. thing yeah so i'm a fan yeah Are you dancing? Hey, don't put me on there. <laughs> Sing some Selena for the peeps. You know this song. No, I won't. Come on the floor. <laughs> aye. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, Come come on. 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 We have this one, and this will last us for about what? Like two days, maybe? Maybe three? Oh, I think three. Yeah, three days. That's a lot. That's a lot of what? <laughs> I got all defensive. That's a lot of what? <laughs> You're from the South, baby. That's never too sweet, you know? Maybe it's like still water. Well, it takes time, girl. Baby, you're putting your own, go get a longer spoon. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Inexperience. A ladle. A ladle. So, do you want to tell the piece what you're doing? Come on. Let me show you what's going down. All right. It's quarantine, so I'm just trying to find ways to have like different type of healthy snacks. And you know, like when you're, in quarantine, you start like looking at stuff differently in your house. You're like, I never used that for this before. So anyway, I saw these and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make some green tea and I'm gonna put them in here. Why not? Because I need something healthy to, to like, you know, like snack on. So anyway, <laughs> right now I'm making some green tea. So, so far I put in like three packets of stevia. I put in some honey as well. And I'm just starting, I'm trying to get the right flavor, just put a little sugar right now. I'm really, like, this is an experiment for me. I'm really trying to find, like, what a good recipe is for this green tea, icicle pop stuff. Because they usually want to make green tea, you only make one when I'm sick. So yeah. I just make, like, the smaller amount. Alright guys, so here are the enchiladas. Look how delicious. They look, oh my gosh. Super easy recipe, and these are super delicious, guys. 